Well, okay. I did tell the people that the ash is coming, so some of the uh, planes couldn't be used. Uh, some of the people were hired to clean up the airport, and every time they did like this, the ash went up and down, and they were hired like for one week. They were happy, you know. So things, stupid things happen. Many stupid things. And you think, how can this be possible? You lose money. No, no. People told me I have to do so. And they do not think further, you know. They just take it as given. Only one uh, uh, roof collapsed in uh, all this ash uh, explosions we have had in the last 10 years uh, by the big explosion of Rementador. This is a, a Colosseum which was badly constructed. The uh, glacier you have seen in ash covered, this is uh, of one of these volcanoes. We may see today it's uh, a, a glacier as well. It's active, it has been active in, in the 18th century. It's called Kayambe. Some of the water comes here from that volcano. This is Chimborazo. This is also on the shield of the country. Um, the glacier you see is this volcano. It's the highest volcano. And um, just to tell you, I mean, I talk always about disasters, but uh, we have had um, uh, global warmings also before, before that what we have today. And most of it is, of course, a natural process, not that much uh, by the industry, as people say. Still, there's a percentage uh, which is important as well now. And uh, the volcano collapsed because of uh, global warming. This can happen also high erosional rates and this part covered all this and therefore this is flat. Riobamba is one of the uh, biggest cities in, in Ecuador. About this I have also material I can show you sometime. Uh, there is a very important Indian market here in Ecuador and known in whole South America. It's called Otavalo. It's here to the north, like two, or two and a half hours from here. And there is another volcano which is also active which is in Barbuda. Uh, and this is a glacier lake and the city of Otavalo is here. And Tisana gives also most of the water of uh, the city of Quito, and it's also active. It's that active that in 1801-1802, where it has uh, this kind of lava oh flows, this is a house. Oh my, oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, there are two lava flows, one is uh, uh, towards the north, the volcano is here, and uh, there where the lava flows uh, is, uh, they are very nice magical thermal springs. There's something literally we have very nice, we have our crater lake, yeah, it's called uh, Quilcocha. Um, there are domes here, there's one, two, three, four, five domes. Mm -hmm. I have published a book about this. Maybe Gonzalo, I have it here. Maybe. You have it here? We can try it later. Yeah, 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 in the back. So uh, we publish it. We try to, to give some information to the people so they know what, what they're looking when they go. There are nice boat trips here. We have even videos from this side uh, yes, from okay. diving. I did the uh, dove, but uh, a, a police uh, friend of mine, yeah. and they are, this of course uh, uh, filmed uh, sub laguna fumaroles. Bubbles coming up. We have even uh, like in, uh, in, in not the crater lake. Uh, was it? I, I will remember the, the, the spot in, in the states. We have also dead vegetation because of the uh, CO2 which coming out there. We made a paper out of this, and ooh, we have this kind. This is not. Photoshop color. <laughs> okay, this is real. Um, this is a very nice landscape of another crater, uh, Caldera, um, active, with a lot of CO2 coming out here. You cannot even stand there. So much CO2 is coming there, and and uh, I know it because I didn't swim there. I mean, you can you can walk and see the, the bubbles. It's because also there we made some videos of uh, sublaguna activity, and people who swim there they got almost. Uh, this year, so, yeah. so much CO2 comes out there. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Due to the volcanic crisis of 2006, we have left this volcano out for our CO2 and SO2 and whatever measurements. So we, we haven't done this. We are going to do this either this year or next year with Spanish people I work with. We publish about Pululawa. It's another volcano I'm going to show you in a, in a second in Cuicocha, uh, a study which we published already in the last, maybe 2007, I remember. This is the same uh, volcano from above. As you can see, it's very light. It means it's very acidic. We talk about almost rhyolitic in composition. It means 65% and higher SiO2. This is a nice volcano. Um, this is close here to Quito, very close. It's the northern part of Quito. It's the second most dangerous volcano of Ecuador. And has been very active 400 before Christ. And these are domes. These are huge domes. And this is a huge caldera, which you can see from above. Mm. These are the domes. This is a caldera. 
but it's only three to four kilometers towards it. What I told you before, the 15 to 20, it's it's a big difference. And uh, some people tell me, but, but people are living inside. I said, yeah, there's a, you know, I, I don't remember uh, in the states what kind of minority you take to make uh, jokes about. Here they take some people from the southern part of Colombia and say, you know, immigrants from from Pasto, <laughs> because they, they do all the, the wrong things you can do. You know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we, we make always jokes about this. But people do are not aware about this. We made the study about this. This is also published about the CO2 all around here. Diffuse the gassing in the soil. And it's a lot high, very high contents. Okay, what we're going to do today, I'm going to talk a little bit more about, because I'm actually have prepared about this too. Uh, we're going to uh, get down here from the platform of Quito. Down here this way. Go this way, this way. And go here through. And go up here. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is Chalupas Volcano. This is Quilindanya, Cotopaxi. This is Sinchalagua, uh, uh, Rumiñaui, Pasochoa, Ilalo. Um, this is uh, Antisana, and there are another 30 uh, volcanoes see very small monogenetic ones. This is the volcanic complex of uh, Pichincha. This is Atacaso in Iñahuilca, Iñahuilca is uh, active. This is Corazon, that means heart. And here we have a double peak of Ilinisas, and here the three widows. So mm -hmm. this uh, we're going to see all today. But we should hurry. Um, everything is based on how dangerous volcanoes on the Volcanic Explosive Index. You're gonna, you can read this, it's in Spanish and, and, and uh, um, English. What is it, Volcanic Explosive Index? How, does, how hard does it go? Okay. Um, it's like the Richter scale for uh -huh. volcanoes, yeah. and it's based on the uh, volume of material expulsed by one, one eruption. Mm -hmm. okay? So you start with a few uh, uh, cubic meters and get up to a few cubic kilometers. And um, uh, Every number is 10 times one number higher than the other, mm -hmm. 10 times more material have been expulsed. Mm -hmm. Now, if you take a volcano like um, Mauna Loa or Kilauea, for example, then it's going to be a zero because very low material which is get expulsed by every parts of the volcano. If you take a volcano like, uh, like, um, like Stromboli, mm -hmm. uh, which is expulsing every day a lot of material, which is the most active volcano in the world, it's not that much. And still, it's something more than, than Kilauea, then you got it one. And when you got um, uh, an explosion which killed, I put here, of course, uh, volcanoes here from Ecuador, so people have a, a uh, meaning yeah. to that. So, Pulau, which I uh, recently um, shown, uh, have shown, is a six. A six has been, for example, the second biggest explosion oh, of the last okay. century, Pinatubo, in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. It was so 6.0. Uh, Pulau was a 6.2. So in the 6.0 of Pinatubo was responsible for uh, cooling of the Earth's uh, atmosphere of one and a half degrees the year later. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to relate it in my mind. Uh, what, what was what was Rainier? Rainier can be a five. A <coughs> uh, five was Mount Saint Helens. <coughs> I'm sorry, Mount Saint Helens. Mount Saint Helens was a five. Rainier can be also five. Okay. So, so we talk say. about Tuesday. Of course, the only volcano in the world which has an eight is Yellowstone. And Chalupas is a seven, so ten times less, or a tenth. So Yellowstone is the only active volcano which can have eight. Thirty really? million people are gonna die instantly right. by an explosion of uh, Yellowstone. Why? Why could that be an eight? Because the material expulsed by only one eruption is much more. Is that? Is that much? Or more? More than thousand cubic kilometers. When Yellowstone explodes, it'll extend all the way to Denver. It's I guess because of the size of it? Yes. Okay. Yes. okay. And because of the magma chamber, because of the uh, chemistry, which is.